Hey, I'm Jake, and this is a shoulder opening and back bending sequence. Buckle up. Come on to your mat. Tabletop. Line yourself up with your wrist straight across your mat and under your shoulders. Knees underneath your hips, tuck your toes under. Inhale, arch your back, look forward. Exhale, round your spine, look towards your navel. And twice more like that, inhale, arch your back. And exhale, round your spine. And once more, inhale. And exhale, round. And this inhale, find a neutral spine and pelvis. Step back for a plank. Big breath in, legs straight. Exhale, lower down all the way for low plank. Okay, lower all the way to the floor. Point your feet. Bring your arms alongside your body. Spin your palms towards the floor. Come on to your fingertips. Muscularize your arms. Big breath in. Shoulders even with the base of your neck. As you lift up, shoulders up, arms up. Legs lift. Keep your hip points grounded. Legs straight. Look to your right. Turn your chest right. Right shoulder back. Okay, and second side, look to the left, get a little boost on that left side, left shoulder back. Okay, bring it back to center. Hands flat by your ribs, tops of feet down. Inhale, cobra pull. Your chest forward, just enough bend in your elbows to keep your shoulders back. And tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back for down dog. Okay, down dog, feet inner hips width apart, bend your knees enough. Feel a lift out of your low back. And as you inhale, step your right foot between your hands for lunge. Come up, hands on your right thigh. Okay, bend your front knee right over your ankle, root your right heel, and power up your back leg, tip your pelvis up, and go ahead and reach your arms up, palms forward. And from your pelvis up, create a lift out of your low back. And so far as it feels like a lift out of your low back, you start to open up your upper back. Your mid back, okay, reroute through that right heel, right knee bends deeply. Ears in line with your arms. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step back, down dog. And second side, inhale, step your left foot between your hands for lunge. Okay, bend your left knee right over your ankle, come up, hands on your left thigh. Hey, okay, lean forwards enough to access your back leg, power up the back leg. And I'll actually create a lift all the way up to your mid back as you reach your arms up, palms forward. And then create a lift all the way up through the back plane of your body. And so far as it feels release in the low back, you could open up your upper back, your mid back. You lift your chin up so far as you don't crank your neck back, ears in line with your arms. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step back, down dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower all the way to your mat. Point your feet, clasp your hands behind your back. Clasp it at your sacrum. Bend your elbows, angle them up. Lower your forehead down. Big breath in, shoulders even with the base of your neck. Okay, then come up. For locus, shoulders up. Arms straight, legs lift. Legs and feet touch for power. Unless your back's at all creaky, then feet apart a little bit to give your back some freedom. Okay, if your shoulder's round here, use a strap or do airplane arms again. Okay, unclasp, hands flat for cobra. And exhale, down dog. Inhale, step your right foot between your hands, low lunge. Lower your back knee super gently. Come up, hands on your right thigh. Okay, point your back foot. Allow your knee to go beyond your ankle for Anjaneyasana. Okay, it's one pose where it's legal for your knee to go past your ankle. As long as your hips stay square, front heel stays rooted. You're gonna reach your arms up, palms forward. From your pelvis up, create a lift. Okay, just watch it doesn't uproot you. Okay, resettle, right heel heavy. And you can open up your chest, your upper back, so far as it feels good in your low back. Exhale, hands to the mat, slide your right foot to the right edge of your mat. Reach your right hand back for your left foot for a thigh stretch. Okay, you could hold either side of your foot. 
Lengthen both sides of your body long. Plug your right shoulder back. Draw your heel towards your outer hip. Engage your left foot to tip your hip up towards your heel. And inhale, release, step back, down dog. Second side, inhale, left foot forward for Anjaneyasana, hands on your left thigh. Point your back foot and allow your hips to settle heavy. Okay, this knee could go past your ankle so much as your hips stay square. And reach your arms up, palms forward. And out of your pelvis, create a lift out of your low back. Open up your upper and mid back. Ears in line with your arms. Watch you don't just throw your head back. Exhale. Hands to the mat. Slide your left foot to the left edge of your mat. It's okay if, the, if you have to pat up the knee with a blanket, towel. You can also fold up the edge of your mat. For a quad stretch, left hand back for your right foot. Twisted thigh stretch. Lengthen your back. Turn your chest open, draw your heel towards your outer hip, engage your right foot, tip your hip up towards your heel. Inhale, release, step back, down dog. Inhale, plank. Legs strong for low plank. You lower down to the floor, point your feet, clasp your hands again behind your back. Do the opposite thumb on top. So I didn't specify it'll be the more awkward clasp on top. Okay, bend your elbows, clasp it at your sacrum, lower your forehead down. Angle your elbows up. Big breath in, shoulders more towards your ears, even with the base of your neck. Then come up for locust, shoulders lift. Arms straight, chest lift. Legs lift, think no bend in the knees, reach back through your feet. And exhale. Release, hands flat by your ribs, tops of feet down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Okay, inhale, step your right foot between your hands, warrior two. Bend your front knee right over your ankle. Spin your right palm up, reverse your warrior, lean back. Touch your back leg with your left hand. Lift your left leg up against your hand to set your left thigh back. Crescent your spine back, look up. And okay, warrior two. Clasp your hands behind your back. Widen your right knee right for humble warrior. Shoulders lift. Bow to the inside of your right knee. Widen your right knee right. Wrap your right hip under. Okay, hands to the floor. Step back. Down dog. Okay, second side. Inhale. Left foot forward. Warrior two. Bend your left knee deeply. Reverse your warrior. Okay, keep that left knee bent. Widen your left knee left. Press your hand against your right leg. Lift your leg up against your hand to square your hips to the right. Crescent your spine, look up. Hey, warrior two. And humble warrior, clasp your hands behind your back, pull up with your arms. Okay, wind your left knee left. Bow to the inside of your left knee for a humble warrior. Shoulders lift, hollow your belly, forehead towards your left inner heel. Exhale, unclasp, hands to the mat, down dog. Inhale, right foot forward, warrior two. Inside angle pose, right forearm to your right thigh, left arm by your ear. And today swing your right hand towards the floor, use your form like a lever to spin your chest open. Again, so much as you could keep that, you could reach down for the full pose. Okay, hands to the mat, down dog. And second side, left foot forward, warrior two. And side angle pose, left forearm to your left thigh, right arm by your ear. And swing your left hand towards the floor, use your forearm to turn your chest open. You touch for the full pose, so much as you could keep your chest turned open, look up towards the ceiling. Hand to the mat, step back, down dog. Inhale, plank. Legs strong, lower down, all the way to the floor. Bend both knees, reach with your hands for your feet. Walk your hands down to your shins, below your feet. Okay, and then lower your forehead down. Keep your shoulders lifted. Draw your knees in till the weight's centered on the face of your quads. Pull with your arms to lengthen. 
and come up for bow. Flex your feet, don your asana. Arms straight, press through the pinky finger side of your grip, broaden your chest. And exhale, release. Place your hands, tuck your toes under. Kneecaps lift, plug your arm bones back, shoulders lift. Inhale, plank. Exhale, dog. Inhale, right foot forward, warrior two. Okay, and straighten both legs. Tip forward, right hand to the outside of your right shin to the floor or block, or as tall as you need to to lengthen your back. Reach up through your left fingertips. Legs straight, look up if it doesn't hurt your neck. And left hand to your left hip. Bend your right knee, spring up for half moon. Look down as you're getting your balance. Turn your chest towards the wall to your left. As you're balanced, look up, reach your left arm up. If you're steady here, bend your left knee, reach with your left hand for the left outer edge of your foot. Heel to your hip, lengthen your back and turn it open like a side ball. Left shoulder back, left knee back. Eventually look up and release. Step it back, down dog. Okay, second side, inhale, step your left foot forward. Warrior two. And straighten your left leg for a triangle pose. Left hand outside of your left outer shin to the floor of the block, as tall as you need to. Extend long through the crown of your head, no slouch in the neck or your shoulders. Okay, and right hand to your right hip. Bend your left knee, look down to spring up. Half moon. Okay, left hand under your left shoulder to the floor of the block. Flex your right foot, turn your chest to the right, get your right arm up. If you're steady here, Bend your back knee. It's okay to come out of the pose to get your foot, right hand to the right outer edge of the foot, heel to your hip. Okay, but you gotta rebuild it so that your right shoulder sets back. Your right knee sets back. Keep your left heel rooted and look up. Okay, release, step it back. Down dog. Bend your knees enough and dog to feel release in your back. And lower down to sit and swing your legs out in front of you. Lie back. Hey, bend your knees. Place your feet for bridge pose. Ankles underneath your knees. Feet hips width apart. Root your feet down and lift your hips up. Lift your low back up. You can either clasp your hands underneath you or arms alongside you, whichever gives you leverage to walk your shoulders underneath you. If you're steady here, place your hands alongside your ears on the floor. That's step one. Step two, come to the crown of your head, chest towards the back wall. Okay, then lift your heels off the floor, heels wide, knees in, hips up, chest more towards the back wall, then come up. Arms straight for wheel. Okay, an option to lower your heels, get more stability. And tuck your chin. On the way down, lower your hips, press your hands against the root of your thighs. Okay, arms out like cactus arms, palms face up. Feet as wide as your mat, both knees fall to the right. Rest your right foot across your left thigh. And look left, root your left shoulder down. Okay, second side, both knees, windshield wiper left. Rest your left foot. Cross your right thigh and look right. Root your right shoulder down. And bring it back to center for happy baby. Bend your knees, hold your shins or your feet. Either hold it still or rock and roll, whichever feels better on your back. And rock it up to sit. Stretch your right leg out, bend your left knee in. Left foot flat to the inside of your right thigh. Left hand behind you, reach your right arm up, and exhale, twist. Right elbow hooks across your left thigh. Okay, sit tall, and exhale, twist. And come back to center. Left leg out, right knee in. 
Your right solar foot flat to the inside of your left thigh, right hand behind you on fingertips, left arm reaches up to exhale twist. Left elbow across your right thigh. Point your left toes straight up, sit tall. Exhale twist, look over your right shoulder. Okay, and come on back to center. Stretch both legs out wide, feet point up, knees point up. Legs root down, lift your low back up and bow down the middle so far as you can keep that alignment. If your knees lift up, if your back slouch is under, hands behind you, and root your legs down as straight as they'll go. Okay. Happy back bending. Should feel open in your upper back, shoulders, chest. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Namaste.